We have a box of the car interior decoration atmosphere light. And I'm going to install this in a 2016 Honda Odyssey minivan. Uh, this can be installed in any vehicle because basically we're using the charging port for the power supply. Let's open up the box and see what we have. So we have the four strips LEDs so you one two three four and then this USB this right here is gonna be plugged into here and then this end is gonna be plugged into this box right here to power it up now the antenna is actually right here so if this is hiding or this is blocking you won't be able to control it with the remote control so I'm gonna figure out a way probably 3M tape it and have it put it up like this so we don't have no issue um, having access to the antenna and controlling it with the remote control so I think this would be a good idea to mount it right here so before the install, I like to make sure that everything works because if it doesn't work, it'll be a waste of time, you know, organizing and setting everything up and then towards the end, nothing works. So we're going to take the USB, plug it in here, and then we're going to take this end and we're going to plug it into this box. Okay, so once that's in, and remember this is the an antenna that you need the signal for the remote control. Now we're going to grab the remote, and we're going to turn it on. See, now we're going to change the color, make sure everything works. It's green. Let's check out the blue, the white. Um, these are the um, dancing music. So when you hear the music, it will start, you know, flashing according to the sound of the music or the sound of your voice. See how I'm talking and it's blinking. <laughs> or you want to keep it a uh, static color, white or purple, and then you can make it brighter or make it much, make it dimmer. Right now, this is dim. Now, this is brighter. Okay, now we got that out of the way. Let's install it. So this is the first LED that we're going to mount. It is right under the stand wheel column. I wanted to put it farther, but if you look under, there's nothing really under there for you to mount it. So we're going to put it like this. And you can see this wire. We're going to tuck it behind here. And kind of like you know hide it and it's good that we have more than enough you know wire to be able to do that all right so I got done installing the front of the car with the two LED strips so when I what I end up doing was instead of mounting the box I just left it under there because I didn't want it the wire to be visible the only wires that I wanted to be visible was the antenna and the USB connected to the power port. So for the driver's side, this is how I mounted it because like I say, there's nothing under there for you to place the LED strip. And then I tucked the wire behind that plastic and then ran it. under there now for the passenger side it's basically the same thing almost the same so this one I'm able to place it farther under so you're not able to see the LED strip and I just tuck the wire right behind this plastic and then I tuck it right along these edges and then 
under there. So now we are in the second row of the minivan and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So now let's turn the flash on so you can see better. So that's where I put the LEDs at. And then I took the wires right there and then right under the center console as you can see it now on the passenger side we did the same thing we place it right there and then we tuck this like right here it's fine to leave it like that you want enough space because when your occupant gonna sit in the car of course they're probably gonna adjust the seat you're gonna move it backward or forward so you want to have enough space you don't want it too tight and then gonna end up you know ripping off and it doesn't work so you put it right there I tuck it under there and then the rest of the wires as you can see is right here and then we can tuck it under here if we want but right now I'll just leave it like this so I have enough space and like I say is no one is gonna it's not gonna come in your minivan, you know, lay down and say, hey, what are these loose black wires? But that's how I did it. And we're gonna come back later on tonight, see how it looks. But as of right now, that's how it looks with the red color. And then, can't really see much. And then on the driver's side, that's the only location I have because as I show you in the earlier video, there's nothing really under there, but you know, mechanical steering column and parts. So we just put it under there. Yep, and that's how it looks. And we're gonna come back later on tonight to see how it really looks at nighttime. So I'll see you in a couple hours. So it is 10 20 p.m. right now the camera can't pick it up so we're gonna turn on the apps atmosphere um, interior light and see how it looks at nighttime yeah, that's how it looks right now the color is uh, purple and this is how the the back looks like and then right here so it actually looks clean in the van now let's um change color see how it looks let's try to this is the red color green this is the dancing light Is this the white, the blue, the green, different kind of blue, and then this is the purple. Now we're going to keep it at the purple because that's the color that my sister like. Um, now if it's too bright in here, we're going to lower it down. So we're going to dim the light. Now we're going to turn it back on.